What is up, YouTube? This is Zan from Forward Progress Madden. Today, we are taking a look at run defense by request out of the 4-2-5 under formation. This play art and setup is going to look very similar to the 4-3 over plus video. So if you're having trouble with the setup, check that one out and you'll see what I'm talking about. The play we're going to use is cover one from the 4-2-5 under and we're going to run it against the strong close. The setup is very similar to the 4-3 over plus in which we shift the line left, re-blitz the nose tackle, and buzz zone the defensive end. The only difference here is that we show blitz after we do so and move that strong safety over to the linebacker role. Our responsibilities as the user free safety is the same as in the 4-3 over plus in which we just play kind of a, a running back spy role, try to deter them from making a quick cutback, stretch the run out to the perimeter and let the defense do what it's supposed to do, get the stop. Shift the line left, re-blitz the nose tackle, buzz on the right defensive end, use the free safety over the top. There, as you can see, we didn't do a very good job. We got a little bit over greedy and allowed Frank Gore a cut back for about five yards. On the toss, if you remember in the 4-3 over plus, that role that Kenny Phillips is playing, he typically shoots the right B gap and drags the runner down from behind. But in the 4-2-5 under formation, he actually tries to stretch the run to the perimeter. He will not shoot the B-gap. So your role is a little bit more important in which you need to make sure that Gore cannot get the corner and turn it upfield. Otherwise, the defense plays the exact same as the 4-3 over plus formation. Play art looks the exact same. The only real difference is that you have to move the strong safety down. And the middle linebacker is not in a spy. He's actually in a, a hook zone. But see there, as we try to get over the top of the blockers and stretch them on the perimeter, and there are actually three CPU defenders there to help you out. We'll take a look from the top down, and you'll see Kenny Phillips does not shoot that right B gap, but instead he tries to work across the tight end's face and get to the outside, allowing the other players on your defense to be unblocked by the by the edge, which is a real problem for most people when facing the strong close toss. I understand that the strong close is not the only run formation in the game, it's just one of the most popular, so I'll go ahead and show you this defense against a, another popular running formation, the I-form close, and the play that we're going to call is the weak zone. Setup remains the same, shift left, re-blitz the nose, buzz zone the right end, show blitz, switch onto the strong safety and move him into that linebacker role for gap integrity. This is what happens when you get over greedy right here. I try to show you what happens when you get over greedy as it opens up cutback lanes. And then we'll correct the issue in the next setup. Gore only picked up five yards, but in most run defenses, if you get over greedy, that can end up being a touchdown. This one, the gap integrity is, is fairly good, I would say. So... When you stay home and kind of spy the running back, you allow your players to work off their blocks and help you out in the backfield, as you can see there. We'll go to the top-down view again and show. Because we spy over the top, we make Frank Gore have to decide where he wants. He doesn't really have anything off the left, so he's just forced to run right behind Britt Miller, his fullback, and hope for positive yards, which he doesn't get. So add this run defense to the bevy of plays I've already presented you from the 4-2-5, Start getting some three and outs and stuff the run because truthfully, that's how you win games in Madden is stopping the run. Thanks, guys.